Okay, let's see what's new with Unreal. Huh. Ah, oh, Here we go again. Okay, so if you closely follow Unreal and news around it, this might not be exactly news to you. About a week or so ago, there were some big announcements for Unreal, including some very exciting things that will be coming to the engine in the future, but that's for another video. One of the things that has been announced though is that Unreal is no longer gonna be free. Now, I understand that some of you, like me, still have PTSD from the Unity announcement, however, these changes aren't that simple. Well, they are, but the way they were announced caused some confusion, which is why I didn't make a video on this earlier. <clears throat> Definitely not because I forgot. But now that we have some clarity on the topic, we can very easily summarize that if you are using Unreal Engine only for developing games, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. In fact, this change doesn't even really concern you. Well, it kind of does, and I will explain why in a bit. So what are these changes then, you might ask? Well, it's concerning basically everything except the game development side of Unreal. In case you weren't aware, Unreal is also used frequently for things like automotive industry, video slash movie production, and bunch of other stuff. Which by the way are basically completely free since you don't have to pay royalties or such unlike what you have to pay for making games. So these changes are simply creating an equal playing field for everyone. Some important notes here. First, if you use Unreal for non-game dev things but you don't use them commercially, in other words you don't make money off of it, you don't have to pay anything. Second, even if you are using it commercially, there is going to be a revenue threshold that you have to pass in order for these changes to apply to you. As of right now, I couldn't find anything about what that threshold will be, but personally I would expect it to be somewhat similar to the threshold that we have for the revenue generated by games. So as I mentioned, if you are making games with Unreal, which I assume most of you are since that's the focus of my channel, this doesn't really affect you. However, like I mentioned before, it kind of does, since there is an argument to be made that since there is going to be more equal leveled playing field across all the Unreal industries, it is likely that we won't be seeing a repeat of what you did, since Unreal will have more funding and generate income from more areas other than just game development. Which theoretically, and this is just pure speculation, but given what we have seen from Epic Games in the past, would also mean more and better updates for Unreal in the future, and if you want to learn more about what those updates might be, make sure to subscribe, as I will soon be making a video covering those subjects as well. But that about does it for this video, since I just wanted to get the word out to you guys about these news, as I have seen quite a few people confused, perplexed and panicking things thinking Unreal is not gonna be free to make games in anymore. I will leave some links in the description if you want more info on the topics we talked about. Leave a like and subscribe, say hi in the comments or whatever you feel like. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!